From troubled youth to fearless star and humanitarian, here is the untold truth of Angelina Jolie. Number 14, Early Life. Angelina Jolie came into the world on June 4, 1975, in Los Angeles, California. She was born to Marshalline Bertrand and John Voight, and she has one sibling, John Haven. Her parents got a divorce in 1976, and she and her brother lived with their mom. When Angelina was six, they moved to Palisades, New York, and went back to L.A. about five years after that. She ended up enrolling in classes at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute and studied for two years, appearing in various plays during that time. Angelina went to Beverly Hills High School as a teen, and she reportedly felt like an outcast since the other children were better off financially. She was also bullied during her high school years for her narrow frame, braces, and glasses. When she began attending Marino High School later on, she considered herself a punk outsider. She noted that she chose that school, nobody messed with her, and she was fearless. She graduated at the age of 16 and moved into an apartment. Jolie struggled with many issues throughout her early life, including an eating disorder, insomnia, depression, and substance use. Number 13, Rise to Fame. Jolie officially committed herself to pursuing acting when she was 16. However, it wasn't until 1993 that she got her first significant role in Cyborg 2. The movie wasn't a success, and it went straight to video. She was so embarrassed by it that she didn't audition for another part for an entire year. In 1995, she acted in Without Evidence. That same year, she starred in the film Hackers, which initially didn't do wonderfully but eventually attracted a cult following. She ended up marrying her co-star from Hackers, Johnny Lee Miller, about a year later, and they separated in 1999. After playing in a couple more features during this time, including Love Is All, There Is, and Playing God, she scored her first major role. In 1998, she played the title character in the TV movie Gia. About a year later, she got the part of Lisa in Girl Interrupted, which was her real Hollywood breakthrough. Then in 2001, Jolie played the courageous main character in Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, which made her a household name. Number 12, Funeral Director. Although she has successfully pursued dreams of acting, Jolie also thought about doing something else with her life. Her alternative career was being a funeral director. During a 60-minute interview in 2011, she stated, It sounds like this very strange, eccentric, dark thing to do. But in fact, I lost my grandfather, and I was very upset with his funeral. Jolie also said what death is should be addressed in a different way. She noted that if acting hadn't worked out, then being a funeral director was her backup plan. Number 11, children. We've all heard at least something about Jolie's children, but did you know that she has six? She adopted Maddox, her first son, in 2002. It took a long time for the adoption to go through because the process was suspended when the United States placed a ban on adopting children from Cambodia. The person who helped her with Maddox was eventually convicted of money laundering and fraud, but the adoption was considered legitimate. In 2005, she adopted Zahara from Ethiopia. Then in 2006, Angelina gave birth to her and Brad Pitt's daughter, Shiloh. However, Shiloh goes by the name John and is noted to identify as a boy. A year later, she adopted another son named Pax from Vietnam. Jolie gave birth to her and Pitt's twins, Vivian and Knox, in 2008. Number 10, Wildlife Preserve. Angelina is known for her love of diversity, drive to help others, and compassion toward the well-being of the world. In 2003, she purchased a house in Cambodia in honor of her son Maddox. The house originally sat next to the Sam Lau National Park, which was suffering due to poachers in the area. So, she purchased the 231 square miles the park covered and turned it into a wildlife preserve. She named it the Maddox Jolie Project after her son. The Cambodian king granted her citizenship in 2005 because of her efforts. It was later renamed the Maddox Jolie Pitt Foundation. In 2010, Jolie and Pitt founded the Shiloh Jolie Pitt Foundation to help the Nankus Wildlife Sanctuary's efforts. Then in 2017, Angelina and Shiloh opened the Shiloh Wildlife Sanctuary, which works with the Wildlife Sanctuary as well as the Ministry of Environment and Tourism. The goal of this project is to help elephants and rhinos who have been affected by poachers, including injury and loss of parents. The animals are taken care of until they are ready to be placed back in the wild. Number 9. Billy Bob Thornton Angelina Jolie met Billy Bob Thornton during the filming of Pushing Tin. They didn't begin dating until later because they were both in relationships at that time. However, once they did begin seeing each other romantically, they married just a couple of months later, in May 2000. One of the most talked about things the couple did was wear vials of each other's blood around their necks. They divorced a little over three years later. Thornton recently spoke out about their marriage, stating, I look at that time as a great time. He also said that the blood vials were exaggerated greatly by the media and that it was a very simple thing. Thornton also noted that he never felt good enough for Angelina because he wanted to live a simpler life and she wanted to become more worldly, which she accomplished. He said, we just had different lifestyles. He added that they are still friends after all these years. Number eight, awards. Angelina has proven herself time and again on the big screen. 
and she has the awards to show for it. She won an Oscar for her role in Girl Interrupted for Best Supporting Actress in 2000. She has also taken home three Golden Globes for George Wallace, Gia, and Girl Interrupted, respectively. Jolie has also won an Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films Award for Best Actress for Changeling, an AAFCA Award for the same film, and three awards from the Alliance of Women Film Journalists. She also won the Jean Herschelt Humanitarian Award in 2014. According to IMDb, Angelina has won 56 awards and been nominated 110 times. Number 7. Music Videos A lesser-known fact about this talented lady is that she was in several music videos early on in her career. She was in the Lemonheads video for their song, It's About Time. Jolie was also the star of Meat Loaf's video for Rock and Roll Dreams Come Through. Later on, she played a big part in the video for Anybody See My Baby by the Rolling Stones. Plus, she was in Korn's Did My Time video, which was made for Laura Croft Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. Number 6. Most Expensive Photo When Angelina gave birth to her twins, Vivian and Knox, in 2008, people were waiting outside of the hospital to catch a glimpse of them. Everyone was, of course, really interested in seeing the babies for the first time, so Jolie and Pitt were able to use that to their advantage. They sold the first images of their son and daughter to Hello and People for $14 million. This set the record for most expensive celebrity photograph ever taken. However, they gave all of the money to the Jolie Pitt Foundation. Number 5. Director there's pretty much nothing Jolie can't do, especially when it comes to artistic ability. So it shouldn't surprise anyone that she doesn't only star in films, but she directs them too. She directed the 2007 documentary A Place in Time, which followed people's daily lives for about a week in over 24 countries. Various celebrities in the film visited orphanages, refugee camps, and other places to help spread cultural understanding and awareness of those struggling around the world. Jolie then directed 2011's In the Land of Blood and Honey, which was set during the time of the Bosnian War. Her next film, Unbroken, came out in 2014. It is a biography drama that takes place during World War II after a plane crash, which leaves the former Olympic runner and soldier, Louis Zamperini, stranded in a raft for 47 days and details the time he was taken to a POW camp in Japan. Jolie then directed the movie By the Sea, which she starred in alongside her former husband, Brad Pitt. The movie was about a couple struggling to keep their marriage alive, the most recent film she directed is called First They Killed My Father, which came out in 2017. It follows the life of Lang Ung, an activist who faced significantly trying times as a child in Cambodia. Number 4. Tattoos Although you might know about some of Jolie's tattoos, you probably don't know the deeper meanings behind them. Jolie has a tattoo of geological coordinates on her upper left arm. These mark each place that she found or gave birth to her kids. She also has Whiskey Bravo tattooed on the inside of her right thigh. She got this one for Brad Pitt, apparently. Whiskey Bravo means WB as a civil aviation code, so those two letters are thought to stand for her ex-husband, William Bradley Pitt. Another one of her tattoos is on her lower left hip. It is a solid black cross with a Latin quote next to it that means, What nourishes me and destroys me. These are only a couple of Jolie's tattoos. She has many more and will probably continue adding to her collection throughout the years. Number 3. John Voight Many of you probably know that Angelina Jolie always had a strained relationship with her father, John Voight. When she was just a baby, Voight abandoned the family. Although she still saw him sometimes as a child, they didn't have much bonding time because they were always in front of cameras. They originally rectified their relationship during the filming of Laura Croft Tomb Raider, in which they acted alongside one another. However, they fell out again shortly after making up. Angelina even had the last name Voight removed from her name legally in 2002. Later on, Voight claimed that his daughter had a long-term mental illness. After that, the rest of Angelina's family stopped talking to him as well. Jolie even stated, like every child, Jamie and I would have loved to have had a warm and loving relationship with our dad. After all these years, I have determined that it is not healthy for me to be around my father, especially now that I am responsible for a child. However, more recently, the two tried to make peace again. She noted in late 2017 that John and I have gotten to know each other through grandchildren now. We're finding a new relationship. Who knows, maybe there is hope for these two after all. Number 2. Brad Pitt Angelina met Brad Pitt during the filming of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They denied relationship rumors initially, but soon after, Pitt separated from Jennifer Aniston. Just a few months later, Jolie and Pitt announced that they were expecting a child. Two years after having Shiloh and adopting Pax, they had their twins. A couple of years after that, the duo finally tied the knot. However, in 2016, Jolie filed for a divorce. She claimed they had irreconcilable differences and wanted custody of all six children. There have been reports of Brad Pitt's issues with alcohol as being a factor in the divorce. More recently, the battle for custody has become rocky. Pitt wants to spend as much time with his kids as possible, but some articles state that Jolie has been attempting to separate the children from their father. 
However, she denies these accusations. The two are still struggling, but have ultimately moved on and are living life the best they can. And now for our number one, don't forget to subscribe. Number one, cancer. Angelina Jolie's family has a long history of cancer. Her mother passed away at 56 years old as a result of breast and ovarian cancer. Jolie's grandmother and aunt also lost their life to the illness. So Angelina wanted to take preventative measures so that she would be around for her children. She learned in early 2010 that her chance of developing breast cancer was 87%. So she had a double mastectomy and underwent reconstructive surgery soon after. In 2015, she had an ophorectomy because her chance of developing ovarian cancer was 50%. Although these surgeries made a significant difference concerning her risk of getting these illnesses down the road, the change in hormones caused her to experience an early onset of menopause. Jolie later wrote, on a personal note, I do not feel any less of a woman. I feel empowered that I made a strong choice that in no way diminishes my femininity. Today's feature comment comes from Jammy from our 11 Psychologically Proven Flirting Strategies video. Thanks for the comment, Jammy. Don't forget to leave your comments below and we might feature you in an upcoming video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.